finally. I've been waiting on it for a long time. It's just amazing, you know, it's just to, to experience that all over again, you know. Very amazing. Kuta Gable, Bernal Jaluk, and Sidney Hill relieved and overwhelmed to have their freedom back after serving 28 years in prison. I done tried everything I could, went through every avenue I had, it didn't work. Back in 1996, then teens, the three were convicted in the murder of Rondell Santenic. There was evidence uh, that these men, uh, these boys, were not where this crime occurred, could not have committed this crime. Prosecutors for the Orleans DA's Office Civil Rights Division presented key evidence that linked the murder to former police officer Lynn Davis and Sammy Williams. Everyone uh, in this jurisdiction uh, recognized that Lynn Davis uh, was inflicting a reign of terror in this community, was engaged in narcotics trafficking, uh, murder, murder for hire, uh, protecting certain drug dealers, protecting his own drug dealing. When we looked at the files, it was clear it was not the right car. It was never three co-defendants, or sorry, it was never three perpetrators. Uh, it was one perpetrator originally until Len Davis and Sammy Williams inserted themselves. It was the wrong color car. They were arrested 23 minutes later with no weapons, nowhere near the scene of the crime. Bernal Jaluk was unable to talk on camera, but his lawyer released a statement saying, quote, we are grateful for all the support Burnell has received as he begins this next chapter. Nothing can make up for the three decades he lost to his wrongful conviction, but he is excited to spend time with friends and family as he embarks on the journey ahead. As for the other two men, it's a long time coming and a time for a new chapter in their lives. I want to do anything and everything to become rich and take care of my family to protect them when something like this can't happen to them. And the DA's office also tells me they're looking into other cases where men and women have been wrongly convicted of a crime related to Lynn Davis and other former NLPD officers. In New Orleans, Daryl Forges, WDSU News.